Calculating monthly payments. Of all the things that can be accomplished with math, few things are more useful than to be able to calculate payments on large assets such as houses and automobiles. Fortunately, there is a formula that works very well to calculate that amount, and it's this formula here. In this lesson, we're going to use this formula to calculate monthly payments on a car, on a house, and even use the calculator to write a program to make this process a lot easier and error-free. The hard thing about working with this monstrosity of a formula with all of its elements is to get everything in the right order when making the calculations with all the parentheses, etc. And I call it a monstrosity only because I see numerous opportunities for entering errors that will either get you a wrong result or an error message. Let's start by identifying the key components of the formula. M is the amount of the monthly payment. P is the starting amount or principal of the loan. R is the interest rate amount. We can see that this input, interest rate, shows up in three different places in the formula. Also, this number is not in percentage, but in decimal form. So a 7% interest rate will go in as 0 0.07. And finally, we have Y for the number of years here in these two places. If you had a number of months only, you could put in the number of months in the place of the 12Y. Let's work out a problem with the formula. John wants to buy a car and takes out a loan for $14,000 at a 7% interest rate. If the loan is for five years, what will his monthly payments be on the car loan? Before I work a problem out with this formula, I'm interested in seeing what the payments would be without interest because that will give me an idea if what I calculate using the formula itself is anywhere close to reasonable. To do that, I divide the principal amount, $14,000, by five years times 12 months. When we press enter, we get $233.33. This tells me that with interest, the monthly payments will be somewhat greater than that amount, maybe between $250 and $300 per month or something like that. Now we need to set up the formula in the calculator, but before doing that, it's important to lay out everything neatly inside parentheses so there will not be a mistake here. I'm putting parentheses everywhere needed in the formula to assure there are no mistakes. I've placed all these extra parentheses in red. And with all that in place, we can use the formula by entering it in our graphing calculator with the numbers for principal, rate of interest, and the years. Note that we have R over 12, or 0 0.07 over 12, in three places, as in the formula. Note that we also have to the power of 12 times 5 in two places. That would be 60 months for five years. We press enter. We get a payment of $277.22, which should not at all be surprising since we calculated $233 payments without interest. So we encircle $277.22, pretty sure of our answer. Now, what I propose to do is to write a program on the calculator for two reasons. First, to make this repetitive calculation quicker, and secondly, even more importantly, to avoid mistakes that are so easy to make in a formula of this size and complexity. You will need to follow along very closely to get the program steps correct. Stop and move the slider back as necessary. First, press the program key. Arrow twice to the right until New is highlighted. We see that Create New under the New menu. Press Enter. You see the alpha cursor blinking. Enter the name of the program. You can use eight characters maximum. I entered the name Payments, so when I go to the Programs menu later, the right program will be easier to identify. Press Enter. The blinking cursor in front of the colon is an invitation for you to start entering program code. Press the Program key. Arrow once to the right for the input output submenu. Press enter to choose input. Turn on alpha lock by pressing second then the alpha key right below it. You'll see the alpha cursor blinking. Make an open quotation by pressing the plus key on the right side of the keypad. Enter PNCPLE. Why not the whole word principal? Well, to minimize the numbers of lines on the program, we'll see this out later on. Now we're going to put in an equal sign by pressing second. We have the up arrow blinking. Press the math key at the left of the keypad to get the test menu. Choose the equal sign by pressing enter. Create a blank space by pressing alpha, then the zero key at the bottom of the keypad. 
Make a closing quotation mark by pressing alpha then the plus sign key on the right of the keypad. Press the comma key above the 7 key. Enter P by pressing alpha then the 8 key. You have now entered the first line of program code. Press enter. Now it's ready for you to enter the next line of code which will be very similar to the first line. Press the program key between the apps and VARS keys. Arrow once to the right for the input output submenu. Press enter. Turn on the caps lock by pressing second then the alpha key. Enter the open quotation mark then APR for annual percentage rate. Access the test menu by pressing second then the math key. Press enter to put in the equal sign. Make a space by pressing alpha then the zero key. Make the closing quotation mark by pressing alpha then the plus sign key on the right of the keypad. Press the comma key above the seven key. Make the R by pressing alpha then the times key on the right of the keypad. Press enter. You have entered your second line of code and we are ready for the third line. To start the third line of code press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Press enter. Prepare to enter a string of characters by entering second, then alpha. Enter the opening quotation mark, followed by years. Go to the test menu by pressing second, then the math key. Press enter. Create a blank space by pressing alpha, then the zero key. Make a closing quotation mark by pressing the alpha key, then the plus sign on the right of the keypad. Press the comma key above the seven key. Enter Y by pressing alpha, then the one key. Press enter. Now we have put in three lines of code that give us the inputs. Now we are about to enter the code giving us the answers or display based on the input values. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. This time press 3 for display. Press second then press the alpha key. Enter monthly payment in quotation marks. Press enter. Now press the program key. Arrow once to the right, press 3 for display, press second, then alpha, enter amount is in quotation marks. Try to put the open, an open space after is and before the final quotation mark. Get out of uh, alpha by pressing the alpha key, enter the comma above the 7 key. Now enter the formula precisely as shown, every parenthesis must be exactly right or it won't work. I'm sure you'll need to stop the video to enter all this. So just pause and put it all in please. Now the program is written. Exit out by pressing second then the mode key for quit. Now we'll see if the program really works. Press the program key, choose the payments program, press enter again. We're going to take out a $120,000 loan to buy a house. Enter $120,000. It was shortening the word principal that allowed us to get this on one line which helps us now and later. Press enter. For this loan we're getting a 5.5% interest rate so enter 5.5. Press enter. We're getting a conventional 30 year loan so press 30. Enter 30. Press enter. We see that our payment is $681.35 per month on this loan. It was shortening that first line with about principal that enabled us to get all the key information along with our answer in a single view screen display. What if we wanted to use this program to make payments for a certain number of months and not years? Let's buy for instance a computer system for $800 and finance it for 14 months at an interest rate of 12%. Enter 800 for $800 and press enter. Enter 12 for an interest rate of 12% then press enter. Now for 14 months enter 14 divided by 12. That gives you the number of years and in the formula for this program this number we're entering here is in years. Press enter. The monthly payment amount is $61.52. This little program could be helpful to a real estate agent looking at a payment schedule, a prospective home buyer. Maybe you want to check out refinancing a loan. Maybe you're a car shopper. This program has a lot of potential applications. Can math and algebra have great real world value to us? Of course. This has been Calculating Monthly Payments. Thanks for viewing.